Hey there wildlife fans! Welcome back to another thrilling episode where we explore the wonders of the natural world, both past and present. Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary journey back in time, to an era long before humans walked the earth. Today we're diving deep into prehistory to meet a creature that'll make your jaws drop. Andrew Sarkis. This isn't just any prehistoric animal, it's a beast that has fascinated scientists and enthusiasts alike for decades. This wasn't your average prehistoric critter. Andrew Sarkis was a unique and formidable predator, unlike anything we see today. Imagine a world teeming with life where massive creatures roamed freely, and Andrew Sarkis was at the top of the food chain. Imagine a predator bigger than a rhino with a bite strong enough to pulverize bones. Its jaws were incredibly powerful, capable of crushing the toughest of prey. This beast was a true apex predator, dominating its environment with sheer strength and ferocity. We're talking about the largest land mammal predator ever discovered. Andrew Sarkis was a giant among giants, a creature that has left an indelible mark on the history of life on Earth. Its sheer size and power make it one of the most fascinating animals to have ever existed. This beast roamed the Earth around 40 million years ago during the Eocene epoch. The world was a very different place back then with lush forests and diverse ecosystems. Andrew Sarkis thrived in this environment, using its incredible abilities to hunt and survive. Andrew Sarkis was a true monster, measuring up to 30 feet long and weighing as much as two cars. Its massive size and strength made it a formidable presence in its habitat. Imagine encountering such a creature in the wild, it would have been a truly awe-inspiring sight. This wasn't just another face in the prehistoric crowd, this was the king of the jungle, or should I say, the Eocene epoch. Andrew Sarkis was the undisputed ruler of its domain, a creature that commanded respect and fear from all other animals. Its legacy continues to captivate us, reminding us of the incredible diversity and power of life on Earth. The discovery of Andrew Sarkis fossils has provided scientists with invaluable insights into the life and times of this magnificent predator. By studying its remains, paleontologists have been able to reconstruct its appearance, behavior, and ecological role. This has helped us understand not only Andrew Sarkis itself, but also the broader context of the Eocene epoch. Through advanced technology and meticulous research, we can now visualize how Andrew Sarkis lived and hunted. It was likely a solitary predator, relying on its immense strength and powerful jaws to take down prey. Its diet probably included a variety of animals, from smaller mammals to large herbivores. This adaptability would have been key to its success as a top predator. To put its prowess into perspective, Think about the most powerful predators we have today like lions and tigers. Now imagine a creature even more formidable with a bite force that could crush bones with ease. Andrew Sarkis was a true titan of its time, a predator that would have been feared by all. Today, Andrew Sarkis continues to capture the imagination of people around the world. Museums and educational programs bring this ancient predator to life, allowing us to appreciate its significance and marvel at its incredible adaptations. By learning about creatures like Andrew Sarkis, we gain a deeper understanding of the history of life on our planet. So the next time you think about the giants of the past, remember Andrew Sarkis, the mighty predator that once ruled the Eocene epoch. Its story is a testament to the power and diversity of life, a reminder of the incredible creatures that have shaped our world. Thanks for joining us on this journey through time, and stay tuned for more amazing discoveries from the natural world. So how do we know about this prehistoric powerhouse? The story begins in the vast, arid expanses of the Gobi Desert, a place that has long been a treasure trove for paleontologists and archaeologists alike. This harsh, unforgiving landscape hides secrets that date back millions of years, waiting to be unearthed by those brave enough to venture into its depths. Well, it all started with a single, massive skull. This wasn't just any skull, it was a colossal find that would change our understanding of prehistoric life forever. Imagine stumbling upon a fossil so large, so well-preserved that it takes your breath away. That's exactly what happened when this skull was discovered. This wasn't some tiny fossil, this thing was huge, over two and a half feet long. To put that into perspective, that's about the length of a small child. The sheer size of this skull hinted at the enormous creature it once belonged to, sparking excitement and curiosity among scientists and the public alike. Enter Roy Chapman Andrews, a real-life Indiana Jones, who discovered this incredible skull in Mongolia back in 1923. Andrews was an adventurer at heart, leading numerous expeditions into uncharted territories. 
His discovery in the Gobi Desert was nothing short of groundbreaking, capturing the imagination of people around the world. The skull was so impressive that they named the entire creature after him. This was a significant honor, as naming a new species is a rare and prestigious event in the scientific community. It was a testament to the importance of Andrews's discovery and the impact it had on our understanding of prehistoric life. And let me tell you that's one heck of a namesake. The creature, now known as Andrew Sarkis, became a symbol of the incredible discoveries that can be made when we explore the unknown. This skull not only provided a glimpse into the past, but also inspired future generations of paleontologists to continue the quest for knowledge. The story of Andrews and his monumental find serves as a reminder of the endless wonders that await us in the world of paleontology. Now, let's talk about everyone's favorite subject, food. What did a behemoth like Andrew Sarkis eat? Picture this, those powerful jaws clamping down with a force of over 6,000 pounds per square inch. It could crush bones like they were potato chips. While its teeth were perfect for tearing flesh, some scientists believe it might have been an omnivore, munching on plants when a juicy brontotherium wasn't around. Talk about a balanced diet. Here's where things get really wild. You know those cute chubby hippos you see on nature documentaries, and those majestic whales gliding through the ocean? Believe it or not, Andrew Sarkis is actually related to them. Yep, you heard that right. They're all part of the same family tree way, way, way back. It's amazing how evolution works, isn't it? Imagine yourself strolling through the Eocene epic. Lush forests stretch as far as the eye can see, and the air is alive with the sounds of strange and wonderful creatures. But watch your step. Andrew Sarkis is on the prowl, and it's bigger than anything you've ever seen. We're talking larger than a grizzly bear, longer than a pickup truck. This was a time when giants walked the earth, and Andrew Sarkis was the undisputed king of the beasts. Section 6. More questions than answers. As much as we've learned about Andrew Sarkis, many mysteries still surround it. Remember that single skull we talked about? Yeah, that's pretty much all we have to go on. It's like trying to solve a jigsaw puzzle with only one piece. We can speculate about its behavior, its hunting style, even its color, but without more fossils, it's all just educated guesses. Section 7. Shifting Branches on the Tree of Life Science is a constantly evolving field, and our understanding of Andrew Sarkis is no exception. This fascinating creature which roamed the Earth millions of years ago has puzzled scientists for decades. As new discoveries are made and new technologies are developed, our picture of this ancient predator continues to change. For a long time, scientists believed it was closely related to a group of wolf-like predators called Mesonychids. These creatures were thought to be the closest relatives of Andrew Sarkis due to similarities in their teeth and jaw structure. But hold on, the story doesn't end there. Recent research suggests it might actually be closer to another group called Intelodonts, which looked like a cross between a pig and a warthog. These so-called hell pigs were fearsome creatures in their own right, with massive jaws and a voracious appetite. The shift in classification is based on new fossil evidence and advanced genetic analysis techniques that have provided fresh insights into the evolutionary history of these animals. Talk about a family reunion you wouldn't want to attend. Imagine a gathering where the guests include not just Andrew Sarkis and Intelodonts, but also a variety of other prehistoric beasts. It's a vivid reminder of how diverse and dynamic life on Earth has been throughout its history. Each new discovery adds another branch to the tree of life, helping us understand the complex web of relationships that connects all living things, past and present. So, the next time you hear about a new fossil find or a groundbreaking study, remember that science is always moving forward, reshaping our understanding of the world and the creatures that once inhabited it. Section 8. A World Transformed to truly appreciate Andrew Sarkis, we need to step back in time to the Eocene epoch. This was a world very different from our own. The climate was warmer, the continents were in different positions, and strange and wonderful creatures roamed the earth. Imagine a world where you could stumble across a giant bird, a massive snake, or even a four-legged whale. Section 9. The legend lives on. Andrew Sarkis may be long gone, but its legacy lives on. It's a reminder of the incredible diversity of life that has existed on our planet, and the mysteries that still lie buried beneath our feet. 
So the next time you're out in nature take a moment to appreciate the incredible creatures around you. Who knows what amazing beasts might be discovered in the future, just waiting to be unearthed.